today was officially where I'm done as a correctional officer. I put in my two weeks two weeks ago. Today is the last day I'm officially unemployed as a correctional officer and I'm employed as a content creator. This is Zar today, standing at over a million subscribers on YouTube, but how did he get started and how did he go full time in just two years? Well, let's find out. In my early teens, we had a station, a TV station called uh, The Score, Headline Sports. It's kind of like your ESPN in the United States. Gotcha. And uh, they had a contest. It was called Drafted, and they had three seasons. And the contest was for you to be able to have a chance to become a sports broadcaster on The Score, which is huge. Oh. So you had to make like an audition tape. We filmed, I guess, like MTV Cribs style video. Yeah. Where it's like, hey, and I introduced like everything, all the jerseys that I had and all the video games, sports games that I had and how much knowledge I had about sports. And uh, yeah, like I, I came, you know, I didn't win, but uh, that was, you know, kind of it ties into just kind of content creation because 100%. I was always like really, really comfortable in front of the camera. I was excited to make it. it. I didn't win, so we moved on. I kept playing video games, never stopped playing FIFA, never stopped playing Call of Duty, got married, <laughs> had kids, you know, still playing FIFA, still playing Call of Duty. And then COVID hit. And uh, during COVID, I, you know, I had my career. I'm, I was a correctional officer at uh, Maximum Security Prison in Canada. And I did it for almost uh, six years. And during COVID, uh, I couldn't see my friends. I couldn't see my family. When it really, really hit that, that first year, you remember how it was, everything was on lockdown. We were all stuck oh, yeah. inside. Sometimes like we had even curfews in Canada where you couldn't go outside past a certain mm -hmm. hour, which was very, very difficult, especially with young kids. Yeah. So all I did was uh, I stayed at home and I played video games. I work, play video games, work, play video games, spend time with the kids, that's it. Warzone was very, very big. For dance was huge. I just bought a PC and I started making quick little TikToks. Didn't know how to edit properly. And the first TikTok I made went viral. The first one ever. The first one. First one. How did that feel like having it that was, pop it was It was incredible uh, because Iceman Isaac commented on it. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. And he's like, I want more of this. And it was me translating Verdansk signs from uh -huh. Russian to English. Dude, yeah. that is awesome. Yeah. What a great first piece of content too, because that's so like going back to it's just like so unique. It's so you too. But I didn't know what I should do. All I knew is that I need to stand out somehow. And then I kind of put two and two mm -hmm. together because Verdansk was really, really um, connected with the whole USSR and Russian thing. Right. And no one was really doing that. So I thought to myself, well, why can't I just like take these signs over here and just like translate them? Maybe people want to know what these signs say. Yeah. You know, and the editing was absolutely terrible. The, uh, uh, it was just horrendous. Okay, I, it sure. took me probably about three hours to make a, to make that twenty second video that I did make. I think it got like three hundred thousand or four hundred thousand views or something. I remember lying in bed with my wife, and I'm like, I'm like, babe, like, like this video's got like ten thousand <laughs> views in an hour. What's happening right now? And like all these followers started coming in. Yeah, right? and and I I was so nervous. I was so nervous. You know, I was just like shaking in bed. I couldn't sleep that night. And I was oh, yeah. working the next day and everybody that was on TikTok from work, like, oh, I saw your video. I saw your video, you know? Oh, that's and awesome. I know, and I was like, what, what's happening here? You know, I can't believe this video is that. And I woke up and it was at 25,000. And I'm like, oh my goodness. And then like two days later, it's at 300. And so I just kept on, I kept on plugging away and kept on posting. Wow. Did you even have an original goal as a creator? Honestly, not really. I, when I started doing it, I did it to pass the time. Yeah. I did it to pass the time and kind of get another hobby going i couldn't play soccer football i couldn't do that i couldn't see like i said i couldn't see my friends I was really stuck in the house or going back and forth from work to the house right maybe grocery store that's it i was just doing it to kind of give myself something give myself another hobby during covid and then once that video went viral i thought okay well this i I'm, I, what do i do now yeah so i did a second one of the same thing but just different signs and it didn't do as well and then I thought really like, what do I do now? And that's when I really, really started kind of experimenting mm -hmm. with different things, with different videos and trying to get, you know, started to learn. Uh, I watched probably about a thousand videos on editing after those couple of videos. Where can I improve? What do people want to see from me? What am I interested in doing? How can I make this enjoyable, not only for the people that are watching, but for myself as well? Because if I'm, you know, this is an interest to me, then I kind of have to enjoy it as well. Right. So, yeah. but I also want people to enjoy it. I want to improve my quality. I want to kind of make captivating, engaging videos where people um, have something to talk about. That's definitely like the direction of 
of good goals and good like quality things that you mm -hmm. want to bring to it. Did you ever think about this as I want it to be a job or I guess when did that even become a thing? I didn't think that this was going to be a career for me, to be honest with you. I mm -hmm. had no idea, but I wanted to take it seriously because I want to put out quality stuff. I thought maybe it could be like a like a, like a side gig for me or something like that. I came up with a series on TikTok. It was called Warzone Weapons in 60 Seconds. Mm -hmm. And that was the series and every single Intro would say, I would say Warzone weapons in 60 seconds. And then I would take a weapon that was in Call of Duty and I would give a brief history on the weapon or some cool facts about the weapon. And I would give the loadout at the end. And that was my way to present a loadout. And I did yeah. that for about like three or four months. And some of those videos blew up and got me to maybe like 50 yeah. or 60 K on, on TikTok. And what was kind of that transition then for you to start creating on YouTube because you blew up on that and then mm -hmm. to go even to over a million subs mm -hmm. especially at the rate that you did it's just it's quite insane I don't know why I'm here <laughs> 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 it's the next stage I kept on thinking besides like warzone weapons in 60 seconds what else can I bring there's only so many weapons I can do and how can I make it a little bit like more personable maybe more relatable I remember having like a family gathering and we were talking about like the early days, me and my brother, you know, going for Halloween. The funny story was like how my dad took me and my brother from like house to house and drove us to like rich neighborhoods. And everybody was just talking about that at the table where, you know, you can get better candy in rich neighborhoods, you know, like the full right. Henry bars and the full, you know, full pop bottles instead of like peanuts and apples. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. So, so I thought, why can't I take like something like stories like that from my childhood and still mix them in with the gameplay where yeah. so I, I started doing that i put call of duty and warzone gameplay in the background but i told a story over it and that's how i started on youtube and those videos started just blowing up i would say probably around last christmas where i had about uh, 200 000 subscribers on youtube and i thought to myself okay what am i doing here is this something that i can make a career of now how do you balance your job with the content side of things as well as having a family obviously it was kind of during covid so you probably had a little bit more time in general as many people but i guess was there any lessons or takeaways that you could share with us there's not enough time in a day no so there's really not enough time in a day january 12th 2023 today was officially where i'm done as a correctional officer uh that's when my contract is done i put in my two weeks two weeks ago today is the last day i'm officially unemployed as a correctional officer and i'm employed as a content creator so for me to sit down with you on my first day as a full-time content creator is just, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm over the moon. How does that feel for you to have this as your kind of primary focus, your full-time job, you know, not even having the other, because having a, a side gig of content creation is very different than even having it as a full-time job. And obviously mm -hmm. you've had, you know, a couple months at, during a leave of absence, right? Like to work on it. Uh, you have a daughter right yeah, yeah. Uh, i have uh, i have a eight month old daughter i have a five-year-old daughter and i have a 10 year old son so i have three little rugrats that just yeah. terrorize the house content creation gave me a, a way to kind of get away from all the negativity mm -hmm. that was going on in the world at the time really really alleviated a lot of the the mental stress that i had and i found it very very enjoyable but it was very very hard to to balance it was very hard to balance because um, I got to give a shout out to to my supportive wife because she's mm. always supported me through all of this, like through thick and thin. Like, yes, you can do this. And anything I ever touched, even if it turns to poo, she always supports me. <laughs> you know, and I don't know why, <laughs> but she always supports me. And so I got to give awesome. a shout out to her and, uh, you know, like people like my brother who always supported me as well. And a couple of other close friends as well who told me to keep going where others just said, hey, man, why are you doing this? You know, yeah. just there's no point you know you're, you're you're not you're not 12 why are you doing this right I said listen this is what i like to do i i am i'm enjoying myself let me let me let me do my hobby and now my that hobby turned into a career if you enjoyed that video watch this one next and if you want to go pro as a creator join pipeline to get the tools and knowledge to be a successful streamer just click the link in the description below